Hi, everybody. So today we have the um, LA1A um, update and some fixes I'll show you later. And I'll give you a short um, view behind the curtain how I make plugins and what I did. And um, well, you see, I have uh, some tools for measurement. Uh, and um, here we have another gray compressor that looks a bit like um, the LA1A. And um, I tried some things um, changing those um, T4 opto elements, uh, changing tubes and things like that to get an average of um, how these units behave with um, several spare parts and um, what happens when you change them. And um, I think I uh, got a nice uh, average now in the um, LA1A. So um, <laughs> let's now get from this crappy uh, camera to the um, screen recorder. So what we see here is um, measurements uh, for frequency response. I know that this tool is made for measuring room responses, but um, it serves quite well for um, uh, measuring frequency responses on, um, on hardware units. So on the top here, this line is uh, the response from the um, original hardware um, without gain reduction. So it's just uh, got the signal through and uh, the um, the amplifier was set to unity and um, don't care about these values here. That is not calibrated. So this was unity and no gain reduction and we see a slight bass roll off and uh, a high boost here um, for um, for no gain reduction at all. So that's just what the amplifier in the unit does. And the blue line is um, with a certain amount of gain reduction. And what we can see here is that lower frequencies um, are not uh, compressed or not so hard compressed as um, frequencies above uh, 100 hertz. And uh, there's this funny curve here and then um, from about 6 or 7 kilohertz, um, higher frequencies are also not so heavily compressed. Um, by the way, I know this unit has uh, these um, filters you can adjust on the back of the, um, of the unit uh, with a screwdriver um, to uh, make it overreact to the high frequencies. This is in um, neutral mode. So let's get over to um, to Reaper. And here we have um, the LA1A plugin and the hardware unit um, I just put in uh, in the um, reinsert um, plugin where you can put hardware units. Um, I have a um, little vocal line for you um, and without any compression or processing it sounds like this. Eu quis amar, mas tive medo E quis salvar meu coração And now um, the hardware unit. Eu quis amar, mas tive medo E que salva meu coração. And the um, plugin. Eu quis amar, mas tive medo. E que salva meu coração. I hope you like it. Um, these are set to uh, do the same things. Uh, same amount of gain reduction, unity gain, uh, things like that. Okay, um, what I also changed is um, that this compressor doesn't react to the gain knob in the detector circuit. 
um, that was um, wrong in the last versions, <laughs> and um, I fixed that. So now um, you can uh, use the output amplifier without uh, uh, increasing the um, input gain on the detector chain. Um, so I measured a lot. I put filters in here to um, to match these pictures, and um, well, this should be okay now. So maybe um, let's hear uh, not only vocals. Um, we have an electric bass. This time first the um, LA1A plugin. <laughs> Okay, and um, I did two um, other fixes. Um, you can update the um, goniometer plugin, which now also um, shows you um, everything in stop mode. It just worked when you hit play, and now it also works when you um, you are in stop mode. And in um, Delay Machine 2, we had a um, funny <laughs> funny issue uh, when you hit delay off uh, a beep occurs and the frequency of the beep you could influence with drive high pass and low pass and if you switch off filters the beep was gone um, that's not uh, intended so um, I fixed that as always have fun with the plugins and bye bye